Mike Singer from the Denver Post. Hey, Michael, uh, the other day you said you wanted your team to be more physical and play with an edge. Um, was that perhaps the most pleasing aspect of tonight was the toughness you guys showed? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think it was definitely one of them. Um, that, that right there was a, a playoff game, you know, for both teams. The intensity, uh, you know, you had two high-level players and Damian Lillard and Nicole Jokic playing uh, at their respective levels. Um, the crowd was great. You know, a, lot, a big shout-out to our crowd, making this such a tough place to play. Um, but, you know, it, it was chippy, you know, and that's the way it should be. You know, we're both fighting for something, and, and that, that's the way the playoffs should be. So uh, I loved it. You know, that, that's my kind of game right there. Uh, I thought Aaron Gordon in the second half, you know, Damian Lillard in that first 32 points, I thought to hold him to 10 points in that second half and only one made three was critical to us getting that win. Uh, the last thing I'll say is this. Uh, we always talk to our players about staying ready. And Shaq Harrison played about a minute and 15 seconds in that first half and had a huge impact. So this was truly a team win. Yes, Nicola scored 38 uh, other guys contributed, but everybody that played, even the guys that didn't play, were into the game and bringing that energy, uh, and, and I loved it. We didn't get down after game one. We're not getting too high after game two. Uh, we, we have a lot of work to still do. Harrison Wynn, DNPR. Hey, Michael, putting Aaron on Dame, just how did you kind of arrive at that decision, and what was he doing – uh, to Dame to, to just really limit him because Dame only attempted five threes in that second half after he really just got a lot of space in that first. Yeah, I mean, it, it's something uh, in the week leading up to game one, you know, we had talked about, um, you know, we were starting him on Norman Powell, Faka was on Dame, um, Austin Rivers was on CJ, um, but, you know, putting size. So t tonight going into game two, uh, we met this morning, we talked as a staff, you know, let's give him different looks. Faku, he brings something different to the table. He's smaller, but he's into you. Austin Rivers has more size. And then at halftime, after the 32-point first half, uh, you know, we say, you know what, uh, let, let, let's so let Aaron Gordon guard him. You know, that's one of the reasons we brought AG here, that defensive versatility. And uh, obviously he embraced it. He wanted it. That's the best part about it. This is something that Aaron Gordon's been wanting to do. And, uh, and he just made it hard. Listen, Damon Lillard is a, an incredible player. Uh, we saw that in that first half. But uh, I think Aaron's size makes it a little bit tougher maybe to get those shots off. But, um, you know, like I said earlier, Harrison, one-to-one, -one, you know, uh, we're not going to get too excited after this win. Brandon Cristal, KOA. Uh, yeah, Coach, the bench the other night, I think, was outscored 34-20. Y'all flip it tonight and outscore them 38-21. Uh, how nice was that to get that from your guys off, off the bench? Oh, it was, uh, it was terrific. You know, obviously, you know, the guys that kind of jump out, Monte Morris, uh, whose minute restrictions kind of been, you know, taken away because this is the playoffs. He goes out and gets 12-7. and seven. I thought Paul Millsap was terrific in both halves. Uh, to Michael Green, I thought did a hell of a job for us. Mark, come on, we're in the playoffs and we're playing two two-way players. Give me one other team in the playoffs that's playing two-way guys. And that's why you got to love this team. Marcus Howard goes out there and plays like he belongs because he does. Shaq Harrison goes out there and guards like he belongs because he can. Uh, so, yes, not only our bench productivity, but I think more importantly, a big thing after game one was their bench – dominated us. Carmelo Anthony, Anthony Simons hit eight out of 13 threes. So we did a much better job of not only scoring off our bench, but defending their bench into the game. Michael Spencer, CBS Denver. Hey, Michael, I feel like we're asking you at least some version of this question after every game, but when Nicola goes out and has a career high or a playoff career high 38 and does it on 15 of 20 shooting, what impressed you the most about what he did tonight? Um... I don't know. I mean, like Nicole is, he's a great player. And uh, some of the shots he was hitting, you know, well, well defended. And he was just making them look easy. And, and that's what great players do. Uh, I know much was made of the one assist in game one. Uh, I think that was an outrageous narrative, as I mentioned pregame. Uh, in order to get an assist, you have to make shots. We struggle to make shots in game one. 
Obviously, we shot 43 from three tonight. He gets uh, eight boards, five assists, and, you know, he was terrific. So uh, it's just comforting to know that you have a player that you can play through that's going to make the right play throughout the game. And uh, I thought Paul Millsat, while Nicole was on the bench, did a hell of a job allowing Nicola to get some rest where I didn't have to feel like I had to play Nicola 42 minutes. Uh, and that's really crucial as we move forward in this series. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Coach. Uh, Michael Porter has maybe kind of raised the bar on our expectations of him. Uh, he had, for him, what was maybe a pretty good but modest stat line tonight, but he was a plus 17. So outside of his shooting, what did you see from him that was effective tonight? You know, uh, the end of the second quarter, and he grabbed me on the way off the court because, you know, he was getting switched on to Dame and he's way too far down the floor. And at that point, you know, Dame was shooting into a hula hoop. Um, and so I took him out because he had the two fouls. I took him out because he was allowing too much separation. And uh, I think he realized going into the second half that he had to be a lot more in tune defensively. Uh, my favorite Michael Porter play maybe of the season was him diving on the floor, getting a loose ball that leads to a Shaq Harrison dunk and a potential three-point play. Um, Jamal Murray came up to me and says, Coach, he didn't dive on the floor. He got tripped. I'm saying he dove on the floor because uh, that, that's the effort that we need. And we talked about that after game one. You know, we only had nine deflections in game one. We only had one 50-50 ball in game one. Uh, so tonight was a much, much better overall effort for the entire team. Mark Kisla, Denver Post. Hey, Coach. I, I, I want you to talk a little bit about uh... – Nicola's competitive nature. And the way I want to ask that is how hard is he to hold back on that bench when he's not too happy with the refs, but you managed to do it some ways. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I tossed him aside. Like he wasn't even there. <laughs> uh, no, listen, I share in his frustration. I mean, like, you know, I see what he's going through. And so I understand the frustration. Um, but I also understand how important he is kids. He's the MVP. And if we get a technical foul or if we get him in foul trouble or whatever it is, you know, that's, that's not going to be in our best interest. So I, I love his competitive fire. Uh, I love the fact that he gets emotional. He cares as much as he does. But then also I have to make sure that I'm trying to control him whenever I can because uh, when he's level-headed, he's the best player in the NBA. And we need that player. And uh, he's come such a long way in that regard. Year one to year six, obviously the referees would set him off. And uh, I, I think he's done a masterful job overall this season of handling that and trying to work with the officials. Sorry, right, that'll do it. Thank you. Coach. Hey, uh, I, I, I just, I didn't get a couple of stats out. Paint 54-32 Denver. Second chance points 21-4 to Denver. Fast break points 16-4 to Denver. If you add that up, 91-40 to advantage in those three areas which are all hustle, energy, passion kind of stats. So uh, this was a great win for us. But as I mentioned earlier, we'll have to be even better on the road to try and get game three. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. We have Nicola ready to go.